what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back what's going on guys tell me how y'all feeling in the comment section you guys um for all of you guys that have you know gone over to the to the backup channel and subscribed i really do appreciate it um so you know the other day i was talking <laughs> i was sitting here talking to myself and i'm like you know certain things that i say you know when i when i actually look at it right when I actually look at it, certain things that I say, I'm wondering if it's really resonating with me. You know what I'm saying? Like certain things when I say like, um, you know, thank you for the views and all of this other stuff. Meanwhile, I'm looking at my views and I'm like, there's, <laughs> there's in comparison to other channels that do the same kind of content that I do. Like it's miles and miles away, man. But the thing about it is that I laugh. You know what I'm saying? I laugh at myself sometimes because, you know, from the get go, when I got into YouTube, right, I've always said to myself, like, do I really want this? You know what I'm saying? I've always said that to myself. Do I really want this? Do I really want to do YouTube? And the, ans the answer is always yes. And that's why I keep coming back and sitting in this chair. You know what I'm saying? Because the answer is always yes. I really want to do this. I really want to do this, whether it's just um for fun and i think that's the the part of it that really stays with me you know what i'm saying like it's never sometimes it can be a chore i don't want to say it's never a chore like sometimes it is a chore because i'm doing right now you know you know whether i do this the night before it comes out or on the day off when it comes out you know according to slam dunk probably the only thing on the channel right now that i react to night before or day off right they come out it's the only thing but all the other stuff that i'm recording in the background which i'm gonna hit you guys with this you know once july start we got a couple of basically a week to go in june so july there's a lot of content coming to the channel a lot of shows are gonna come back like jojo's bizarre adventure all this stuff that i'm recording in the background i'm just trying to get ahead of things and also to have stuff ready for early access for those who want to watch certain things on the channel it's a lot of the small series like how you see the promise neverland going on right now it's a lot of those series that i'm reacting to you know you guys are not seeing them yet that are going to be they're all being prepared for for our members and stuff like that and they're gonna you know trickle out to the channel as i see fit um but it's never a chore man uh, and and uh, and and I went back and said the same damn thing I said I don't want to say, <laughs> right? So sometimes it can be a little bit of a chore because it's work. You know what I'm saying? It's work. It's work to come here and sit down and, you know, not only enjoy what I'm watching, but also just to have the the, the, the fortitude to, you know, to be doing, doing it at a consistent basis. I know a lot of people say, but you're not uploading a lot of things to the channel now. There's a reason why I'm doing that is because I'm sitting down and I'm going back also to all of my old videos and trying to optimize them as much as possible so they can get ranked on YouTube. Mind you, it's not a, a great success rate because it's kind of like there's so many people that react to so many things. And I'm also looking at my the list that I have for stuff to react to that has been suggested and it's turning out that I'm looking at them like, what can I react to one here that nobody is really reacted to? Or I'm looking up keywords and stuff like that and what the competition on YouTube is like. Like I'm using TubeBuddy and trying to find series that you guys have suggested that is not so saturated on YouTube to kind of have some sort of advantage. People can find the channel. And also I'm starting to you know what I'm saying I'm trying to strategize to get the channel out there not so much the original channel as in the new channel because I'm trying to get the old channel out there just as much but there's really nobody getting those notifications still it's still an issue so that's why we have the backup channel so that's why I'm saying like I thank you guys for going over there I mean it's not growing at no exponential rate because I'm guessing a lot of people still don't know about the backup channel or they just don't want to go over there yet because I'm not reacting to anything 
that they want to see yet so they can get notifications i don't know what it is um people up you know what i'm saying like i'm not losing subscribers either like that's one of the things on the original channel i just don't understand like i appreciate it you know what i'm saying but i don't understand it like you would think that the channel will be losing subscribers because they're not they, they probably think i'm not posting anything because of the notification issue right so people are not ups unsubscribing from the channel you know you you know every now and then you get, you know one or two person might leave the channel but overall the channel is growing you know what i'm saying we just hit 6100 um which i thought wasn't gonna come <laughs> you know what i'm saying but people apparently still are finding is finding my content you know i get comments from time to time that i have to respond to you know what i mean um so you know I, I still get comments from people saying man i wish i had found your channel when you were actually reacting to this i got people that are you know what i'm saying that are watching my hunter hunter reaction my death note reaction all of these things on the channel right now so you know people leave comments you know i still respond to those people who you know they think they missed the boat and i still respond to them it was like wow you know what i'm saying most creators don't do that and that is what i one of the things that i you know actually pat myself on the back for is to you know i take time out of my day sometimes to go through comments and stuff like that no matter how many they may be even though they're not it's not a ton a crap ton of them yet you know what i'm saying if it if it's hundreds of comments that come in i go through all of them see what they're related to and respond if i need to respond if it's just you know props somebody giving props then i'll you know what i'm saying i'll just heart the comment and move on you know what i'm saying that some of them people you know some people have comments about they maybe they might disagree with something i said in the video and i'll respond to them so it is what it is but in any case guys we're gonna jump into these reactions you don't want to hear my voice anymore you guys know we're doing two by two until this this situation is over as i said i don't want to go in here with the mindset of just doing two but it seems like that's what we're going to do if i feel like i need i want to do more then i'll do that but as i said during my recording sessions especially with a series like this that is coming to an end and there's nothing super important going to happen again before the anime is over i'm not going to force myself to do you know five you know four or five episodes in a in a season because there's other stuff that i'm trying to get prepared to do i know i you know i keep telling you guys i might drop a couple more episodes during the week but guys i am if i don't get a chance to do it i just not gonna get a chance to do it and i know some people are still looking forward to slam dunk reactions um and i get that but we're coming to the close you know let's 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 phase it out quietly <laughs> let's phase it out quietly we've had our fun you know what i'm saying and there's still some really important lessons to learn from slam dunk to be honest um and i will have my thoughts about the anime definitely gonna do an anime review not a series review i'm gonna do an anime review and just judge the anime and i'm and i will be putting up putting it up against ippo's anime right I know that Ippo is probably longer. I think I think Ippo was longer in the anime. I know it's not Slam Dunk's fault why the anime didn't go to the end of the manga or whatever the situation is, um, as you guys have informed me of. You know, I know all of that. So we're gonna jump in, and I will see you guys at the end for the review. And guys, leave comments on the videos. Like my Slam Dunk people, guys, it's over a hundred of y'all. That watch the videos on both the channels on the backup channel whether you watch it on the backup channel or whether you watch it on the original channel you guys need to leave comments like i know we're at the end of the series you don't have much left to say but it's always the like the same people like the same three or four people that comment on on the slam dunk videos it's, it's, <laughs> you know what i'm saying leave comments man if you're enjoying my reaction leave comments appreciate y'all nonetheless though but anyways, let's jump into it. That was a 10 minute intro. I never do 10 minute intros, you guys know this. Anyways, let's get it. I will see you guys at the end for the review.
The Nationals at Risk. This teacher is gonna blow. <laughs> God damn. Genius, my ass. Hey, do like what most players do when they when they have when they basketball in high school. Get somebody to do that shit. <laughs> Damn, Akagi is the only one. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> he done forgot. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Got him again. <laughs> oh my god. I wouldn't put it like that, but... <laughs> This man don't look in the mirror when you get up. Okay, they're good. Okay.
easy. Barely passed. Cool. So funny how you have all the confidence in the world when you're when you're younger. <laughs> no matter what you look like. <laughs> Okay. Who is this? Isn't that a grown woman? Why are you calling her a girlfriend? Damn, these guys are thirsty. Is that? No way. Is that the manager? It is her. Why are you out here looking so fine, though? And that's some real nigga shit right there. For real? So the girls are just way better.
ぶ聖地がわざとらしくなくなってきたじゃないですかさすがに当然やりたいなら<笑> So I'm gonna stop to I want to stop to talk about something because we're nearing to the end of the anime. And one of the things I know I've made fun of it, you know, during the time that we were watching it, but I'll, I'll, I'll I want to expound on this a little bit better on a realistic, um, you know, realistic notion, right? So, what I, I actually like the fact that Sakuragi keeps calling himself a genius. Is a re, is, is, In my opinion, that is the reason why he's here right now in this position that he's in right now. I think that's the main reason. I'm a big, um, when it comes on to self affirmations, right? I'm a big, I'm big on that, like super big on that. I'm the type of guy that, you know, what I'm saying, I get up and I say self affirmations to myself. Looking in a mirror, you know what I'm saying? Might seem crazy to some people, but it's a very good motivational thing to do for yourself if you want to grow. Do self affir affirmations, tell yourself what you are. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it might sound crazy. Yes, somebody else might be in the next room hearing you say these things、uh, and might be looking at you. It's the, it's the reason why I can get up and I can do these things and I can get. The work done, and I think it, it works for him too. You may not believe, based on, his, based on his action, based on his things that you've seen of him, you know what I'm saying? You might look at it as I said, I've been making fun of that, but it's just for fun. I'm not actually saying that he's, you know what I'm saying? We all know by definition he's not a genius, right? So I just have that as a running joke. On a show, he keeps calling himself a genius, and he's not a genius. But on a realistic notion, I respect it because on a, it's a self affirmation, s is, is something that I think everybody should practice because it can get you motivated for the day. You believe in, in yourself. Where you know, times when you're, you're feeling a little depressed or whatever the situation, self affirmations can kind of bring you out of that. So I like the fact that. From beginning to end, he's been calling himself a genius. And I think it's, the, it's one of the most important lessons that I can take from watching this anime of how he just keeps calling himself a genius, no matter what it is, no matter how simple the task is that he accomplished, or you might see it as a simple situation. He looks at it as a genius thing to do. You know what I'm saying? He, he takes on the responsibility of it. It depends on me. I'm the dude. I'm that guy. We all know he's not that guy. But as I said, from the outside looking in, you can, you're going to have those,、um, you're going to have those,、um, you know, suggestions. You know what I'm saying? Or, or preconcepts, a preconception of him. You're going to look at him and, and prejudge him about. You know, it's like you're not doing anything genius like. So, why keep calling yourself a genius? And I think on an undertone level, the author is doing, doing that. You get what I'm saying? But I don't know if you guys see it like that, but that's how I see it. I, and I'm talking about this now. I was planning to talk about this in my review of the anime、um, of him calling himself a genius, like, you know. Every chance he g e t because I think it's one of the things that motivates him to keep going in for you know as a basketball player. Because trust me, he knows, you know what I'm saying? He knows, he knows, but he's trying to get that thought, that negative thought out of his mind of him not be, being able. He knows he's not as good as Rukawa, but hey, if. You know what I'm saying? Like, he knows that and it, it heats him up. And it's so, it's very obvious that it eats him up. It eats him up that Rukawa is that good. You know what I'm saying? It eats him up because he considers Rukawa to be his rival. It's the, it's, it's the situation. It's Naruto and Sasuke all over again, right? It's, 
it eats you up to know that somebody that you consider a rival just keeps better and keeps getting better and better. Like there's no chance for me to get better. You know what I'm saying? Like both both of them. Um, the thing about it, the difference in this dynamic, um, you know, against like a Naruto and Sasuke is that Naruto and Sasuke actually was always looking at each other. Rukawa don't give a damn about <laughs> Sakuragi. Let's just be honest. Like he gives zero shits about Sakuragi. Like it's like you're my teammate. I want us to succeed. So get those rebounds. You know what I'm saying? Like it's that simple for Rukawa. It's like we go and play ball. But outside of that, there's no emotional attachment or anything. Like Sakuragi, um, not only on the basketball court but also he sees the attention that you know haruko gives to rukawa and that also fires him up also because that's a girl that he desires to, to he wants her he you know what i'm saying he wants to have her as a girlfriend but she pays all the attention to rukawa so that also gets him fired up too if you know what i mean so um i am planning to do i'm not gonna do like an in-depth review like i'm you know, like I would do other series, but I'm definitely going to be talking about a lot of these aspects of the anime that I think it's your strong point that might be, you know, considered like an, like a, the, the read between the line moments and things that, you know, you should take, you know, as a youngin watching an anime like this, like things like that, it's not going to outright slap you in the face as a lesson to be learned in this. But I'm gonna be pointing pointing out some of those things that I that I notice in this anime that you know one of the things that American cartoons do not have they don't teach lessons like this you get what I'm saying and that's the reason why I fell in love with anime so hard because they actually try to educate you they may not outright say certain things. But there's certain things that you can take from anime that you'll never get in an American cartoon. You get what I'm saying? You know, um, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, and you, you probably, you know, you might look at certain. I know I'm going on here for a bit, but uh, um, you can deal with it. <laughs> um, when it comes on to like. You know, I, I'm pretty sure there are people going to point out examples of American cartoons, but it's a very rare occurrence. You'll find it more often in anime more than any other kind of medium that's similar animation medium. Right. So it, it's to me like sometimes when I go back and I watch certain things that I used to enjoy when I was a kid. Right. Certain cartoons and stuff like that. When you see it now, you're like, what was this about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing to learn here. It's, it's just like, and some people, is, I know some people are going to be like, oh, you know, not everything got to be a learning experience. Bruh, I believe strongly that anything that you consume should be a learning experience. That's why my channel doesn't get a lot of love. It's I think it's one of the reasons why people don't really a lot of people don't really like they see my content they hear me talk and they it doesn't really resonate with them much because i go into i t i take a deeper look at things because i feel like anything that i consume sometimes you know i can enjoy something for pure entertainment if i go in knowing that's what it's going to be about i eat dragon ball super it's all entertainment that's all it is there's no life lessons to learn from dragon ball z anymore you know, or Dragon Ball, I should say, right? There's no life lessons there to learn anymore. Like, it's the, the, the story is pretty straightforward, as in it's just there for pure entertainment. It's too, it's too, it's people fighting, and Goku wants to be the best. And then, if they want to get serious about friends and friendship stuff, and you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. You get what I'm saying? But I like the concept of them diving deeper into friendship on a deeper level than that. Like that is surface level kind of stuff. You get what I'm saying? It's like, oh, somebody's going to kill your friend. Protect him. That's it. You get what I'm saying? Like 
I'm talking about deeper friendship kind of stuff. I'm talking about, and I love to use Naruto as an example because it should, I'm talking, even Bleach was a lot deeper and, and Bleach is not even like, Bleach, Bleach is, is not even like, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not as deep as Naruto, but it goes to a deeper level than Dragon Ball does. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, the story was more touching back in the Dragon Ball Z days, but, you know, um, I just, I, I like when, an, I love when anime do that, and I said they do it more often than not. That's what I'm trying to say. So they do it more often than they don't. And that's what I love about anime. Like, they try to teach you something, and I think that's one of the reasons why, you know what I'm saying, we can look at you know, Japanese people and be like, oh, those guys are really smart and this and that and whatever. And I don't think it has to do anything with their race. I just think it goes, I think, I don't think it has to do anything with Asian people when we say Asian people are smart or whatever. I think it has to do with how those kids are raised. Yes, they, you know, they go through, they experience the same things, but at a extremely lower rate than, you know, us in the west you know what i'm saying like you know they they go through the you know abuse and stuff like that uh, and stuff like that but you know um when it comes down to you know the people say you know the parents are really strict and all this other stuff and they make things seem like it's a bad thing that parents are strict in other countries here in america they make it seem like it's a bad thing they literally make it seem like it's a bad thing to be strict with your kids like it's it's so weird <laughs> you know what i'm saying when they know that they're being well they try to be anyways i'm from a country where my parents didn't play no games you know what i'm saying and it teaches you a lot and you might not you know you might not be the best product of society just the same but you know what i'm saying like you find a lot more pro pro productivity when you know kids are raised in in those kind of environment versus the other kinds of environment where parents think their them and their kids should be friends yeah <laughs> but anyways that's a whole different topic for a different day i was just trying to give the anime some props for 10 minutes let's get back into it <laughs> First of all, you would have never catch me on that moped looking like that. They're just way too close. You gonna waste your money? So it just got paid and now, oh my God. They just got paid. Typical. <laughs> Typical, bruh. Goddamn. Why? <laughs> oh, 
信者、桜木君らは、その効果でも影響する可能性がある。その効果、彼にも中途半端なチーム練習をやらせるように、徹底した個人練習をやらせる。Okay, the coach believing in him. It's cool. Damn, they gotta hold it down. <laughs> Yeah, I should talk to pass the time. Well, they survived. Get that quadruple dollars. Yeah, y'all should just join both of them together and get a, have a bigger business, partner up. Is he going to train him? So coach is going to train him. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> All right. All right. 
all right so that was two really good episodes i'm not gonna talk much here because i talked a lot during the episode so i don't want to <laughs> I don't want to talk you guys ear off too much not much to dissect here anyway so i'm gonna keep this short and brief here um for the review of these two episodes so when it comes on to i said i touched on a lot of things but i just want to talk about the ending part of it there where coach anzai decides to train sakuragi i know it's going to be a tough challenge for him because uh, coach anzai is he cares about his players and that's one of the things that i respect about him as a coach he really cares about these boys and you know just as much as he treats them with respect and he you know he's one of the guys you know what i'm saying and not many leaders know how to do that you may have a lot of other leadership qualities but they don't know how to be one of the guys you know what i'm saying um and 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 that's a good trait to have as a leader of anything if you're leading a team if you're a uh, CEO of a company you got to know how to be one of the guys and still keep that separation of being in charge you know what I'm saying and it's a good balance to have when you know in the upper echelons of being a great leader you know what I'm saying like there's leaders and then there's leaders if you know what I'm saying there's levels to it so you know um so i really do appreciate that he took on the responsibility of training sakuragi individually you know what i'm saying i don't know what he plans to do to him or you know what he's going to train him with or what if, if it's going to be some sort of special training to get him up to speed by the time the tournament starts or you know or he's probably going to let him play with some you know maybe play with some local college players or i don't know whatever anzai has in store for him i completely trust him to make sakuragi better because i think one of the things that's very that probably coach is seen is that he's distracted when the other team members are around like he's distracted it's too much um competition and i think other than that too i think sakuragi respects coach enough to take you know what i'm saying the lessons that he's going to teach him so there's also that aspect of it too and this is great this is good writing right here i like this you know what i'm saying kind of reminds me in high like in high when um when hinata and kageyama had to figure out how to do a different how to do the quick a different way and they went their individual ways to train and to get better and to do the thing a little bit different than when they came together back together it was magic it's good writing because a lot of teams do this you get what i'm saying you go on you work in your individual skills you talk about players in the nba they do this all the time they go train with an old player you know go to their training camp or whatever and they go train with them learn how to do you know post-up moves or you know expand your arsenal of game that you have so that you can be more effective the next season and be better you get what i'm saying if you want to win you got to be you got to be better because every not every player in the nba does this but you see the result of the guys that actually do stuff like that you know what i'm saying that actually goes out there and get extra training and all of this other stuff you see those guys you know them you know what i'm saying if you, you, their work ethic is off the charts and it, it results in them having you know what i'm saying better careers and better games and you see their skills grow every season like you think somebody like luka luka Doncic? like that guy do you really think that that guy like rests in in in, in you know in the, in the off season no he goes and trains you know what i'm saying he goes and trains so most players not just about physically going out there and you know go to the the uh, boxing gym or you know work out and stay fit it's not just about that got to go work on your skills also you know get on the court get to you know what i'm saying go to rucker park whatever the situation is go play with you know street dudes you know what i'm saying that you know didn't make it to the nba but they got they, but they got a, a chip on their shoulder whatever the situation is i'm trying to make up anime stories for real ball players <laughs> i don't know why i'm doing that but yeah um so i like this aspect man i really do 
um of course rukawa rukawa is working so hard that's why he's constantly falling asleep so i do understand where that is coming from it's not about laziness or anything like that i'm glad that they passed the test so they can go all of them um so appreciate it thank you guys so much for tuning in hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction and my the lessons that i was trying to tell you guys that i noticed in in slam dunk during um episode um 92 appreciate you guys of course man and i will catch you guys later don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment and of course man don't forget gratitude is never enough that's why i tell you guys thanks so much subscribe if you're new and remember man it's free the likes are free subscription is free i'm not begging you guys for anything okay not begging you for anything it's easy if you love the content subscribe to this channel it's not that hard man it's not that hard it's simple i give you what you want you give me what i want which is just your subscription you know what i'm saying and if you want to support the channel you can do that also there's plenty of options paypal patreon membership for the channel where you get some perks and stuff like that there's a lot of things coming to the channel starting next month so be prepared for that thank you guys so much appreciate you guys man as always it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm out peace